Hello, everybody. Oh my, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ, this is crazy. Okay, welcome to the end of the world. Uh, this is a one-time RR with the freakiest terrain I've ever seen. I'll do my best to um, not die before I've even uh, got down this mountain. Okay, oh, there was a final hill, of course there fucking was. Um, anyway, um, this is my first record around for quite a long time, so if you're watching, welcome back, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm attempting to do face cam. I uh, don't know how well that's going to go. This is the second time I've attempted to do this. Tried to do it about three years ago in Pathfinder. And the file on my iPad was too big to upload to my PC, so that never worked. Plan this time is uh oh, I don't fucking know. Oh yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the file I'm gonna actually stop recording after each episode and hopefully that means that um I will be able to upload the individual files. So maybe you will have some face cam. Um I think it's to do with me wanting to sort of bring my real life and uh, community life more more into one thing, whereas whilst I was at school for many years they were very separate and the idea of the two intertwining was um, sort of the biggest form of social death, like oh my god if people at school found out I play Minecraft sort of thing. But um, yeah, college friends were a little bit more chill about it, my girlfriend knows, so I thought if anyone happens to stumble across my channel, um, you know, worst, what's, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Um, so I don't really know what my plan for the season, uh, is gonna be, maybe, maybe go looking for people fairly early? So the game mode, I think, I, I uploaded the intro, so people probably know, um, vaguely what, what's going on, but I, but it is a sort of, allies up to teams of four. I think there's a lot of people in this round who probably would have made plans in advance of sort of, hey, if we happen to find each other, uh, let's ally with each other. I have done nothing of the sort. Um, I am at the mercy of absolutely anybody who I stumble across. There's, there's people in this round who may team with me until they you know, find someone better. No, no, that's uh, that's pretty bleak. I'm, 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 I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do my own thing. Max fifty is a safe pair of hands. We've been friends for a really long time. Hopefully he'll um, team with me if I happen to bump into him. But no, I think I'm, I think I'll go up looking for players fairly early because we started quite late and this is quite. So yeah, and just the time of the round in general means this is a. Uh, fairly late on in the day for me. It is fast melting, so that does suit my plans to um, play fairly aggressive. Um, I don't know how good everyone here is at PvP. I'm probably, probably one of the weaker players, but you never know. If I can, if I can come out of this with a kill and a, with my pride, then um, yeah, I'd say uh, that's pretty safe. I don't know what I'm going to do for a commentary. If this was like, if I knew this was going to be solo throughout, I'd probably have planned something, but it's kind of like, if everyone, if, if, if I could find a potential teammate any second, I don't want to get into some in-depth uh, solo commentary and then, oh, cooked beef, thank you. Um, that's, that's very exciting. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get into that. I'm gonna just, fuck, shall I? Sorry, I'm I'm flipping I'm flipping this because my hand keeps getting in the way of the camera. There we go, and a book. Oh, okay. So I could probably go caving fairly immediately then, but I don't really know what the saturation is like and whether this four mutton and five steak is gonna um, is gonna cut it in terms of food. Uh, we'll we'll see though. I'll. Nah, we're, 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 we're still very, very early on. We're we're less than five minutes into the game. I'll look for a little bit more food uh, before going down. Uh, maybe there's some stuff around here. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about during the season. I don't. I don't really want to just commentate my game. I think. I don't know. Is that a little bit boring? I guess I could talk about life a little bit. So. Uh, me, alongside a lot of people, have kind of been brought back uh, into the community as a result of 
a certain pandemic, you you may or may not be aware of it. It's not that. It's not that. What? Oh, hi. Who are you? Hello. Who are you? Hello. Oh my god, it's Van Fan. Uh, is. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. Wait, no name tags. Oh, that's that's new. Here you go. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> How's uh, it going? Yeah. Do you know what? Um, I haven't talked to you in a while. No, I know. Uh, you, you reply, you reply to me on Discord like once every three years or something <laughs> like that. We don't talk about that, okay? No, I know. Toxic. But then you put on, <laughs> but then you put on your like private about I'm sorry for. I'm just really shit at replying to messages. So then I was like, okay, well it's not personal, so I can, I can live with that. Oh, there's another person. Oh, who is this? It's, oh, I'm fucking having these chickens. You can. What's up? That's what is Shay. That? Yeah, it is me. Hello, Shay. You hear me? Hello. You hear yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, just up, difficult because there's no name tags, so I was like really why, confused. Why is it no name tags? I'm not well versed enough with voices to or, um or um... skins for that matter. What's up? Who? Oh, oh who person. are you? What the? Oh my god, it's a big cat. Is that Mac? Oh, it's Mac. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi. Guys, like my iron bucket. Oh, oh that's nice. <laughs> in my stream. This is so surreal. At seven meter, why? God! Jesus. It's already so late. Right, well, I'm going caving because I'm rushing this yeah. uh, shit. Nice to see you guys. Hey, you Are we not allying? Are we not oh, um, I, I mean, nah. I I'm doing my own shirt, thing. I, guess, but... I don't. Uh, I don't want to. We see each other later, shirt. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want to be bound to people for, from a caving point of view. You know. Good luck. Bye, guys. Bye, I feel like maybe it is a small map. It's not a small map, Megan. I feel like it is. It's not. It's there's 30 people and it's over a thousand border. It's not a small map. <laughs> Stop following- oh wait, I'm following you, shit. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> following you. <laughs> uh, I'll find a different way then. Bye! Yeah, Bye, noob. Did you just go- fuck off, I'm not a noob. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Right, I can still hear Megan, this is- f I don't- <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I'm about to get into some like really deep- in-depth solo commentary about my life, but then I'm gonna be bumping into people trying to work out who they are sort of thing. Um, yeah, so I have been gone. That's the thing, I don't think anyone's really noticed I've gone, because I still exist, sort of. But then I've not really, until COVID, I've not really played a UHC for a good, I don't know, two, well... I play. I might have played like two UHCs in 2019 or something like that. Um, on my last recorded round before this, what? Oh, it's quad torches still. Thank you, Arctic. Um, yeah, my last recorded round before this was Out of Orbit season eight, and I spent over three years trying to get into Out of Orbit. Finally got in, and then I repaid Grant by not actually uploading past episode three of the season. Bit of a dick move, but then. I don't know, like when I was younger and stuff and like dead hot into recorded rounds and very active, like I was probably quite judgy of people who didn't upload and saying like, oh man, come on, it's not that hard to get on your computer and just like upload some, some footage. Like the organizers put in a lot of work uh, for the season. Like I still stand by that, but then I kind of empathize with it a bit more now because like the change in like my social life between like recording that and and playing it, I was like, do you know what? Like, how much do I actually care at this point to to come on? And that's not like a dig at the UHC community by any means, because I genuinely like this. I this place was a sanctuary for me um, throughout. Ah, oh, yes, finally I can make an iron pick. I'm pretty sure it's fast smarting. Um, throughout my entirety of school like I was 12 when I came here and I'm now 18 like it's pretty crazy and I owe this place a lot but you know when I it's just you, you, you can't do this when you could go out with friends instead like it's just and it's it's not something you could have you couldn't have explained that to me as a 
as a younger child, teenager, but yeah, it's just, they, they have supply drops in fucking RR mode, right, well, I want to get rid of this for, um, uh, intoxicated next weekend. Okay, yeah, I see, okay, I don't, I don't, I'm not really too fussed about spoilers for intoxicated, if we're organising a round where everyone plays it drunk, um, it already got spoiled on, on Twitter by, uh, certain people, so it's, it's fine, it's not really some big secret. So yeah, we've got that to look forward to next weekend, and, and yeah, but anyway, um, but yeah, obviously COVID has brought me back, I think that's been the case for, uh, a large, a large amount of people, um, which is good, like, nothing else other than a global pandemic would have caused me to come back, so, it's, it's been nice to speak to people again, so I guess it's been somewhat of a blessing in that respect, but, I, do, like, I obviously do miss my real, my real life, like, I, after shit years at school, I worked very hard to, uh, get in a position where I had good friends, people who I, um, could depend upon in real life, because, you know, I'm a very huggy person, you can't give somebody, you can't give someone a hug <laughs> through a screen, believe me, I, I have tried <laughs> when I FaceTimed, uh, my friends so far this lockdown, but yeah, um, but life's been pretty, like, I don't know, since, like, since I've come back, I've realised there's a lot of people who you just talk to, and you still talk just about the game, and then there's other people who I talk much more about, like, deeper, deeper stuff, and, I don't know, I've just realised I'm definitely much more of a deeper person, like, I, I, when I, when I get in a random team's game, talking to new people for the first time, I don't want to talk about whether they've got enchants or who, like, who's gonna make, like, who's gonna make the anvil. I, I want to talk about, so, how's COVID affecting you? Because, you know, I know a lot of people are probably sick of having that conversation, but everybody in my real life is going through the exact same thing. We're each other's friends, we all can't see each other for months. Some people may be living with their partners sort of thing, but you know, ultimately, everybody is going through the same thing, we've all lost college, like, you know, there's there's not that much to it, whereas people here living in different sort of countries where some places are really heavily affected, other places not so affected, like, I'm just fascinated to hear uh, different people's stories, like, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm from the UK, I think that's pretty obvious to tell, and um, we're one of the worst hit countries in the world behind, well, second worst hit behind the United States. And I think, and then I want to talk to people from countries who are having a much uh, better time with it and are already starting to be able to see some friends and family again, which obviously I'm very jealous about. And though, yeah, I, 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 I want to hear how people's lives are getting on. And I think that's that's been one of the hardest things since I've come back is having conversations with people where it generally just just feel like nothing's changed for them. Like, I, 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 I'm concerned if, 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 if global lockdown hasn't impacted your life that much, then from my situation, like, that, that, that's worrying. I would expect, I would expect lockdown to have a much greater impact on people's lives than I've found that it clearly has done. Oh god. This, these mobs are fucking ridiculous. Right, I'm actually going to block myself in. I don't remember the last time. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, then. I don't remember the last time in 1.8 I had to do that. Oh, really? Jeez, man. Um, yeah, so I want to... So yeah, I, I just think I've enjoyed the conversations much more talking about, like, the serious shit. Because also, people's lives have changed, and I want to hear about that. Like, I don't... I don't keep in... I hadn't kept in touch with many people uh, from the UHC community since I left, but there's a lot of people I've spoken to since I've been back, and, like... I want to hear what's changed for them, because I know a lot's changed for me, and I just think 
maybe it should be the same. I feel like this has turned into a bit of a TED talk. I don't really know where I'm going uh, with this, with this commentary, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think I have much of a platform in the UHC community anymore. Like my my Twitter's very dead. Like I I do post occasionally on my public Twitter, but very little people will uh, reply or or comment on it. Um, which you know they, they don't have to. It's not an issue. But um, yeah, it's just if anybody happens to have decided to watch my perspective, this is uh, kind of what you're gonna get is me talking about my life, I suppose. Uh, right, what specifically has changed for me? Um, so I was, okay, so I was at college, well, college in, in UK terms, that's not university. College in the UK is, uh, junior and senior year of high school. See, I'm very well, well versed in the US, uh, education system, having spoken to people about it quite a lot down the years. But, um... Yeah, so I was doing that, and I was due to have my uh, A-level exams, end of end of high school exams, and they got cancelled. Like, we were sat one night, and then Boris Johnson announced that all A-level and GCSE exams uh, will be cancelled this year. Oh my god, wait, I, I already got to... I, I just assumed that Redstone was spawning really high. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, and that all of a sudden my education was was over. We would be given our qualifications by alternate means without ever having to sit an exam. And it was kind of like, right, okay. Uh, that was a thing. And it's kind of like, it just felt very empty. Like, when you, like, you know, in, in, in okay. other words, I, w I would have... I'm going to cut that. <laughs> Like, before I would have done absolutely anything to have my exams cancelled because, you know, honest to God, I was not prepared um, for them in the slightest. Uh, but then it happens for real and you realise, shit, you know, you've been studying for these for a long time and then overnight you're told they're just not going to happen. Like, I, I just didn't know what to do. Like, for the entire rest of my life, you know what the next stage is. When you're at primary school, you know you're going to secondary school. When you're at secondary school, you know you're going to college. But I hadn't actually planned anything specific yet uh, for when I was finished with college. So for college to end so suddenly, all of a sudden I had um, nothing in the pipeline. And I was like, it, it just felt like existing. It didn't, It like, I didn't have anything really at that point. I was like, what am I actually living for? What am I striving towards? And it was a genuinely strange feeling, and obviously it, it, it was going to be like that at first. Like, I've, it's fair to say I've come to terms with it uh, now, but originally, yeah, Jesus Christ, it was it was strange. Like, I couldn't come on UHC because I began my isolation uh, around my mum's house, um, but then they went back to work on the NHS front lines, which meant due to my asthma it was no longer uh, safe for me to continue living with them so uh, that was sad I've, but I've not seen them now uh, I've been living by myself for uh, seven weeks I believe I'm into, into week seven but yeah um, so that yeah that was that was a thing and now I'm now I can come on uh, UHC and that is probably my primary distraction. Uh, at this stage, it's either that or going on face on FaceTime uh, with my friends doing quizzes. Quizzes have had a fucking comeback, honestly. Like, for some reason, everybody seems to every single household in the entirety of the UK is doing quizzes either within their immediate family or doing quizzes with like extended family on zoom calls like it's it's just weird it's the sort of thing where kids are normally like oh i don't want to do that i don't want to do a quiz with my family like i, I I'm, a, I'm a teenager i want to do my own thing and all of a sudden it's it's kind of the thing you you spend your day looking forward to like it's a it's a real it's a real change of dynamic but then the community spirit in general is um greatly improved like you know, we're not at war. I, I, the, you know, 
we're, we're being asked to sit at home and watch Netflix. We're not being asked to go and fight in the trenches. But at the end of the day, this this will be talked about for years. And this is the closest thing our generation... Oh, see you next episode.